Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, heaven, Godspeed. With profound, humble gratitude and love to all venerated, enlightened masters, we bow to the Almighty in soulful gratefulness for gifting us with their holy, blessed presence. May all beings be awakened by the divine grace. Part 2 of 4 Etc. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com bar inclinada schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Accesse suprememastertv.com bar schedule. Mint condition. Lady, talk. I have to return this carpet I bought from you last week. You assure me that it was in mint condition. So the shopkeeper says, And so it is, madam. Just look at that hole in the middle. <laughs> I don't understand it. A mint, oh, okay. Mint condition. Oh, yeah, like a mint. Oh, English mint have a hole in the middle. There are many mints who don't have hole in the middle. Please keep watching to find out more. Vegan side effect, feeling beautiful inside out. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Alaksis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, Dutch, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, Thai, and Ukrainian or Uranian. In beautiful Samoa, if you are asked Oa Mai Oi, it means How are you? In the native Samoan language, my name is Josefa. The hospitable people of Samoa are glad to see that you are faithfully preserving the noble traditions and heritage passed down to you by your ancestors. The independent state of Samoa, which consists of several islands, in the central South Pacific, is situated among other Polynesian island countries like Niue and Tonga. Due to its abundant rainfall, Samoa is blessed with incredible plant life in rainforests rich with vegetation. These areas contain several hundred species of trees whose leafy canopies create spectacular landscapes. The animal people of Samoan Islands are also unique and rare, such as the endangered Manumea people, also known as the little Toto person. Samoan growers share their bountiful harvests by exporting produce like coconut, cocoa, taro, and bananas. Other fruits and vegetables such as giant taro, breadfruit, sugarcane, and yams can be found in family gardens. The island's culture revolves around the concept of Fa'a Samoa or the Samoan way. This traditional way of life emphasizes selflessness and service to one's community. Leaders at all levels are chosen for these qualities. 
Even newlyweds do not traditionally receive gifts. Instead, they happily give out presents to their guests. The Samoan people also rejoice in celebrating their cultural traditions through events like the annual Teulia Festival, named after the nation's brilliant red flower. We were happy to showcase amazing Samoa on today's program, congenial viewers. May heaven generously bless your unconditional acts of kindness. For decades, Supreme Master Ching Hai, Vegan, has illuminated our world with her divine teachings. A fully enlightened master, she imparts the Kuan Yin method of meditation to those desiring to immediately discover the God nature within to achieve in one lifetime eternal liberation from the cycle of transmigration. The Kuan Yin method has been practiced by all enlightened masters, such as the worshipped world honored one, Sakyamuni Buddha, vegan, the worshipped son of God, Jesus Christ, vegetarian, the venerated master and philosopher, Confucius, vegetarian, the venerated Lord Krishna, vegetarian, the venerated master and philosopher, Lao Tzu, vegan, the venerated Lord Mahavira, vegan, the beloved prophet Muhammad, vegetarian, Peace be upon him, Sri Guru Nanak Dev Ji, vegetarian, and many more. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, emphasizes that if we always remember God, render selfless service to others, and follow the laws of the universe, we will reach our highest potential as humans and truly understand our purpose on earth. An extraordinary living example of compassion, she lovingly and regularly sends material and financial assistance to refugees, the homeless, natural disaster victims, and others needing relief. Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders and governments for all your genuine loving ongoing support may heaven bless you forevermore we the supreme master ching hai international association members are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness wishing you the best supreme master ching hai vegan receives love and recognition from various organizations media governments individuals and many awards such as the 2006 Gucci Peace Prize, considered the Nobel Peace Prize of the East, the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994, the Mahavir Award in 2008, February 22nd and October 25th, both proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day, an honorary citizen of the United States, etc., and has been honored throughout the years with numerous other awards and accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds.
etc. We apologize for not being able to show many other awards and honors for lack of space and time. Supreme Master Qinghai, vegan, respectfully thank all special individuals, organizations, leaders, and governments for all your genuine, loving, ongoing support. May heaven bless you forevermore. We, the Supreme Master Qinghai International Association members, are also sincerely grateful for your expressive kindness. Wishing you the best. A true voice for our beautiful animal friends, Supreme Master Qinghai, vegan, promotes the peaceful, loving plant-based diet and envisions with humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life, a tranquil and glorious all-vegan world where people of both animal and human kingdoms live in respectful harmony. Her initiatives included Alternative Living Flyer Distribution, the international vegan restaurants Loving Hut, vegan food companies, vegan food products, Supreme Master Television, as well as writing and speaking to influential government and media leaders, participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we are aware of it or not, her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal people-friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations while saving our planet from climate change and disasters. Supreme Master Qinghai, vegan, has traveled worldwide and held discourses with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics. On December 31st, 2005, our most beloved Supreme Master Qinghai, vegan, spent precious time to share her love and wisdom, answering some questions that members had on various topics. Today we are blessed to present the insightful conference entitled Begin the New Year with Positive Thinking, Part 7 of 12, on Between Master and Disciples, held in English. This is a couple of jokes that you want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> the brother took the time to bring them here, so maybe we do that, huh? I read it <laughs> for New Year, huh? A good laugh. It's always good. Washing. It's a good washing. I go. I don't know. Other jokes are good, brother. Yes. Guarantee. <laughs> no bedroom joke with stuff in it. Okay. Are the kids can hear it. Yes. Good. Okay. Washing. Okay. The leaf of Irish laughter. Ha ha. <laughs> a girl was being shown around a battleship and she wanted to know if the sailors really wash their clothes aboard the ship. So she was told, Not at all, we just throw them overboard and they're washed ashore. <laughs> <laughs> hey, not bad. <laughs> Wash a show, <laughs> sailor talk. <laughs> Cash and carry. The customer said, Can I have a tablet of soap, please? The assistant, Certainly, madam. Would you like it scented? Can you, can you understand? Customer said, No, thanks. I would just take it with me. <laughs> Scent, you know, scent. Ha ha ha! It's called memory. A man was registering at the reception desk of a rather run-down hotel. I hope my English is good enough for the joke. 
Yeah, for the punchline, you know. <clears throat> As he was given the key to his room, the receptionist asked him, Have you got a good memory for faces? Yes, not bad. Why do you ask? So the receptionist said, Because there's no shaving mirror in your room, sir. <laughs> no shaving mirror. I don't know. Okay, signs on it. Signs. There's a sign seen in the shop, in the wine shop. It says, Thirst come, thirst served. <laughs> thirst come, thirst served. And in the travel agency, it says, Why don't you go away? <laughs> and in the undertakers, Drive carefully, we can wait. <laughs> It's cute, huh? And in the church, in the church, do you know what hell is? Come and hear our organist. <laughs> organist. <laughs> you know what hell is, okay? You don't have to go to the church. Mint condition. Lady, talk. I have to return this carpet I bought from you last week. You assure me that it was in mint condition. Mm -hmm. So the shopkeeper says, And so it is, madam. Just look at that hole in the middle. <laughs> I don't understand it. <laughs> A mint, oh, okay, mint condition. Oh, yeah, like a mint. Oh, English mint have a hole in the middle. There are many mints who don't have hole in the middle. That proves that I haven't been in England for a long time. <laughs> Come and go too often. It's got ends meet. Normally you say, I can hardly make the ends meet, but here ends meet, like steak meat. Yeah, okay. It's a plain word, I guess. A customer complained about the sausages which she had bought from him last week. She said, They were all meat at one end, all bread at the other. So the shopkeeper replied, I'm sorry, madam, but in these hard times, it's difficult to make both ends meet. <laughs> <laughs> Man, <laughs> this is called living. What's your brother doing these days? Nothing. Oh, I thought he'd apply for that job in Aubrey's. Yeah, he got the job. Well, he's lucky. My brother is unemployed and living above his income. How does he manage that? He's got a flat over the social security office. <laughs> <laughs> you all know this, huh? Gosh, you're so clever. <laughs> I couldn't even get it. Okay, reminder. Two dupling fortune tellers met in the street one day. Beautiful weather we're having, eh? Isn't it? said one to the other. It certainly is, came the reply. Reminds me of the great summer of 2020. <laughs> Fortune telling. <laughs> Tell the future. Not bad. <laughs> This one is called No Distance. Not bad jokes. Good jokes. Two secretaries were sitting in their office one day when suddenly a brick smashed through the window with a note attached. John Murphy and Sons, Andrew Lane, glass cut to all sizes. <laughs> so one secretary said, Do you know where that place is? And the other secretary said, I do indeed. It's only a stone's throw away. 
<laughs> That's very cute. <clears throat> and this one's called position. The teacher said, What did Julia say to Romeo when she met him on the balcony? What did she say? So the pupil said, Couldn't you get seats in the front? <laughs> <laughs> Last word, last word. My wife always has the last word. Everybody knows that, eh? <laughs> You're lucky. Mine never gets to it. <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> oh, she never finishes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man, you all know so well. <laughs> Jesus, I'm out of touch with the world. Okay, that's that, guys. Ah, we're waiting for New Year and it's not coming. Oh, I know. It takes so long. It takes forever. What do we do in half an hour's time? Sitting there and staring at each other? Huh? Step at me. Yeah, receiving blessings. Okay. Are you? I know, but it's just so uncomfortable. Are you yeah. Are you I what? Yeah. No, you guys. I am. I am fine. Ah, uh, okay. I give you some magic power. <laughs> Otherwise, you say, I never have any magical power. <laughs> whoa, huh? Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Okay. You see this? Yeah? yeah? Okay? Yeah? See it? Right. <laughs> Don't look behind me. <laughs> Blow it. Blow again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Maybe something wrong here. Let me check why. Something trouble? <laughs> okay. Magic up. Magic up. <laughs> 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 what are they doing? Why are they laughing? Why are they laughing, huh? why are they laughing up there? Huh? <laughs> See nothing up? <laughs> okay. Hold on, hop. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, baby. Look. Okay. Magic bag. Magic bag. <laughs> Take it. Take it away, one of you. Give it for everybody to see. Put it up so anybody can see it. She took away my bowl. Look at that. Yeah? yeah. Nice. See, nothing happened? Yeah. Oh. Is this, he got the bowl, right? Yeah. Anything in here? No. no. Nothing? No. no. You sure? No. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out. Yeah. Anything there? Yeah. She took the bowl, right? Where's the bowl? Where's the bowl? <laughs> Okay. Right. Okay. Good, huh? Yeah. Still have the ball there? Yeah. Why? I have it here. Blow it again. Make sure. Oh, it's not there. Oh. What happened? <laughs> Put it back on. <laughs> Put it back. She stole it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's there. <laughs> wow. I forgot something at home. But never mind. Okay. We do something else. Wow. Ah. Past time. <laughs> I forgot something at home. It doesn't matter. That's okay. <laughs> Cut, eh? Yeah. Everybody see it, huh? Yeah. Cut, okay? Just. <laughs> okay. Don't tell me what number. Okay. <laughs> Yeah? yeah? Okay. I didn't see it. Okay, I can do it again in case. <laughs> in case you think I cheat. I don't look. I'm not looking. Yeah. <gasps> oh, <laughs> that's the number that you're looking for. <laughs> well, do it again in case you think I cheated. Okay, here, yeah, I'm not looking. All right? <laughs> Okay. Check it out. Check it out. Maybe she's cheating. Whoa, whoa. Nice stuff we have here. Whoa. Don't look, huh, brother? It's okay. You can look. Doesn't matter. It's just this. You can't see much here. Okay. I have to arrange it so that you can see it well because we don't have room here, you know? Everybody has to see it. Otherwise, difficult to show if there's no room. Just have to lay it out for you so you can see it. You understand me? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, wow. I don't have room in my hand as well. <laughs> but I guess it should be okay for now. It's falling apart in my hands. Okay, tell me how many number nine you can see in there. How many number nines? Four, five. Yeah? Four, five. Six. No, six. Okay. Are you sure? Everybody saw it, right? Yes. I'm not sure. Let's take this away. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure if you're right. Oh, oh, nice. Must be your eyes. Something wrong with your eyes. Yeah? Something wrong with your eyes? Look again. Oh. All right. <laughs> huh? You okay with that? Oh. Okay, let's see what we have here. Hmm. Hey, not looking from behind. No. <laughs> it's my magic power. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, we check it out what we have. Mm -hmm. Not looking. <laughs> <laughs> Not looking. Okay, we have some money. Some pennies. You saw that? You saw some pennies. Right? Okay, and there's some money. Good, 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 good. Do you see some money there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Cool. Alright, just put it there. Mm -hmm. Is the money still there? Yes. Yeah. Okay, did I have anything in there? No. Okay, I'll put it out there. <laughs> anything there? Anyone see anything? No. Yeah? Nothing. Nothing? You sure about that? Yes. yes. <laughs> Oh. Wow, a lot of money, huh? They a lot of money, my God. How do you have so much money there? Jesus Christ. What is your money? Blow it. I don't think anything left in there. Oh, oh, yes. gone. Where gone? Yeah. <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> I took my money, huh? Yo, put it back. Okay, <laughs> got it, huh? Did you get the money? Yeah? No? You didn't? I don't know why you didn't get any money. But there's a lot in there. <laughs> so we collect some more away or just give it. What is that? It's a box. It's a box. So we have some pens. Okay? So yeah, we have <clears throat> see if it disappears or not. Huh? Is it still there? Yes. Pennies, huh? Yes. <laughs> you sure? Yes. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> 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 Maybe this one don't want to stay. Still there? No. Ah, no. What happened to the money? Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 Is it gone? Yes. Ah. yes. Ah. Yes. <laughs> okay, never mind. You guys love money too much. I'm not giving it. <laughs> <laughs> When you dive into the religious teachings and explore the values upon which all three of these religions are founded, it becomes quite clear that there's nothing wrong with being vegan. Ellie Atty Bennett Vegan Tomorrow on Between Master and Disciples So anyway, he said, then keep drinking, drinking. And then in the middle of his drinking, he was already, you know, like how many fingers stuff? <laughs> and then there were twins, two boys, twins came in and sat next to him and ordered some, you know, soft drinks. Hospitable viewers, we thank you for your company for today's episode entitled Picking the New Year with Positive Thinking, Part 7 of 12 on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is the first Middle East Vegetarian or Mivets Congress Part 23 of a multi-part series on Words of Wisdom. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television 
for more positive programming. May you experience the world through the eyes of a child, marveling at the wonders that life has to offer. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, hell not rich. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD. Thank you.